So, Kisame Hoshigaki versus Minato Namikaze. Recently, I've become known as that dude in the community that just kind of hates on Minato, so I'm gonna lean into it for this video a little bit. But this time, I needed someone to hype up Kisame uh, on the other side of the coin, so say what's up to my boy Satori. Hello, the strongest Kisame upscaler in history is here to spit some facts on my boy, my man, and to yeah. dunk on that bastard Minato. So we see Kisame is able to physically react to version 1B, to basically just swing his entire body 180 degrees, bend down, and then Samehada slips under B by itself, and then Kisame swings it upwards. So we just see Kisame reacting to B in reaction speed, physical speed, and even when version 2B comes out, we see Kisame is able to put his foot up to brace himself in front of Samehada, so he's not being perception blitz, like he's literally monologuing about how fast and strong B is. So that's just something. And then in the water, we see that Kisame in the water bubble is actually faster than B, who is an octopus. And we'll get into how fast B is later, but in the water, B shouldn't be getting much of a mobility debuff. He should only be getting faster, if anything, because he's an octopus. So B with a mobility buff is getting completely murder blitzed by Kisame. Maybe not blitz, but completely outsped by Kisame, self-admittedly as well by Yuki. Yuki admits he's faster than you, you can't escape. Now, can you get into why scaling above B is impressive in relation to Minato here? So basically, in the third Great Shinobi War, we actually do see B and Jonin A go up against uh, Minato, the soon-to-be fourth Hokage. Uh, but we do see, like, during their first encounter, uh, Minato was able to uh, trick A and, like, teleport to his back and had, like, he had, the, he had a knife, like, right to the back of his neck, like, about to stab him. And uh, B in base pushes a out of the way with his tentacle before minato can stab him right so if 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 b just covered this longer distance in an equal to or shorter amount of time than it was taking minato to swing his arm down a couple inches then that would just require base b to be faster physically than minato this is a younger and weaker version of b than the one we see and ship it in because we know that A forces him to train in the Cloud Village like he cannot leave the village. All he does is hone his techniques, work on his Bijou bombs, his Bijou transformations. So B definitely got stronger. If Kisame is reacting to and combating against version 1 and version 2 B, while base joning B is kind of working Minato out, then like Kisame should have a considerable speed advantage on him when it's like outside of the Flying Raijin Jutsu. Yeah, and this gets even crazier if you consider the higher end scaling for Kisame, where Kisame is able to no cell attacks from base guy, guy immediately goes into the 6th gate, and then even up to the 7th gate, and Kisame is launching his shark bomb at the same exact speed as guy is launching his Hirodora. You see them side by side, the Jutsus both travel the same exact distance, and if it wasn't for the fact that guy absolutely hard counters Kisame, Kisame would have actually won that exchange, so... You know, potentially, if Guy used Chakra for his moves, he might have had to whip out the AFG against Kisame. <laughs> but um, anyway, this is Kisame, while arguably nerfed as well, because he was completely Chakra drained before this. You could see the man's bones exposed. And how much Chakra he absorbed from B is debatable, but regardless, it shouldn't be that much of a buff, because again, he was completely Chakra drained before this, to the point that he was getting blitzed by KCM Naruto, the same one who B would later go on to fight against, or fight with, one of one of the the random Joni that's watching uh, Kisame fight like Guy and B, he's like, too much chakra has been stolen from you, B, but maybe we can still stop him. So like, you could say Kisame absorbed like an unquantifiable amount of B's chakra, putting him some about some amount above like where he'd normally be. But like at the same time, Kisame's like ribs were showing after Samehada left him, so he was like extremely fatigued and weakened. So it, it just depends on like if he could absorb a similar amount of chakra from Minato to be, to be able to get on that same level in which he was showing like relativity to seventh gate guy. Uh, but but even then, like in his normal state, Kisame already has like Bijou levels of chakra stated multiple times that this the, the, the Akatsuki literally gave him the nickname the ta the tailed beast without any tails just because his chakra reserves are just so massive. And this goes hand in hand with Samehada's abilities, like he just gets even stronger whenever Samehada absorbs his chakra. So 
like even without like the regen factor from Samehada, Kisame is already extremely durable. Like taking lariats and shit from from version 2B, and like while he his chest cavity was torn open, like he was still alive and getting back up from it. Yeah, and even if you say for some bizarre reason a normal Rasengan cannot be taken from by Kisame, like did, did you see Jigen versus Naruto and Sasuke? Did you see how Jigen was just absorbing Rasengan's left, right, and center? Kisame is just gonna do the same thing. He has Samehara, which by the way can also react to those version one speeds because it also dodges B on its own. So if worst comes to worst, Samehara will just absorb the Rasengans anyway. And each time that Minato comes in contact with Samehara, he's gonna be drained significantly, because we know that Samehara in a single swipe can drain like six tails of version 1B's chakra, revert B from version 2 to version 1. And Gyuki, by the end of the fight, admits that Kisame stole most of his chakra. So, we just have Samehara and Kisame stealing insane amounts of chakra in very short periods of time. So, Minato, who doesn't have low chakra reserves, but nowhere near a Bijou, is probably getting drained in a few exchanges. And he's gonna slow down, he's gonna become weaker, he's gonna become sluggish, tired, and then Kisame can just devour him. Yeah, Minato is trickier because he does have the Flying Rising Jutsu, like his, the speed at which he can activate the Flying Rising is comparable to that of the Raikage's movement speed that's stated in the data books and shown in the flashback of Minato versus the Raikage, so, like, uh, Minato could just be zipping around teleporting left and right, but it just comes down to a battle of stamina in the end, which Kisame will most certainly win. He just has more chakra reserves in general and has the ability to take Minato's chakra from him. So like Satori said, eventually Minato's just going to slow down to the point where he's, he's, he's just going to end up getting caught by Kisame eventually. And the thing is, Minato doesn't have the greatest durability feats, right? He his it kind of scales to nothing. I don't think he's splinter level, but he doesn't have any real durability feats a lot of the time. Like his best feat is just sort of surviving getting stabbed through for long enough to get healed afterwards or to mm -hmm. seal Naruto away before he dies. So like that's impressive because the the poison like to give Minato some credit, the poison from the Nine Tails chakra knocked Sakura out immediately, whereas with Minato he's able to resist it for a while. But like, are we comparing him to Kisame, who can just brawl with Bijus? And like, the chakra thing, like you said, Kisame has so much chakra that Pain says, yeah, Kisame, you got more chakra than me, dude, go fetch Naruto, <laughs> go, go stall Naruto's group, or Guy's group, or whatever. <laughs> so it's actually stated that Kisame has the highest recovery rate of of anyone else in the Akatsuki, and what that means is, is that he consistently captured the most Bijou and fought the most Jinchuriki. So it, when it comes to uh, like people with high chakra reserves, Kisame is just like a hard counter. And I know a lot of people like to hype up Minato for have like first of all he's able to use high level techniques like the Reaper Death Seal and seal the Nine Tails chakra, but he also has enough chakra to uh, learn Sage Mode, which is stated by Fukasaku to require like ludicrous amounts of chakra so uh kisame is just uh like the perfect counter in general speaking of sage mode i don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal for minato in this fight like obviously like we know that he's not the best at it he says it himself and a lot of people may tend to try to counter this by saying oh but we saw him enter the form instantaneously like he just opened his eyes and he became a sage now i'd like to point out that that is somewhat disingenuous like minato was standing still for about uh more than half a chapter uh while Madara was just monologuing to Obito he was saying like you you're the real Madara give me back my Renegon he was trying to convince him to come back to his side and Minato and Kakashi and the gang they weren't doing anything they were just standing around so it's very likely that during this time when they were just sitting still uh, Minato could have been gathering that nature energy which would be consistent with his statement uh, like two chapters later in which he says that first of all he it takes him too long to build up the chakra plus he can't maintain it for long now the second half of that statement is also relevant because he literally stays in sage mode for all of like three pages in the manga and he's only able to perform one Rasengan before we see him the form dissipate basically so it's more yeah, exactly. likely like based off Minato's own admission it takes him too long to enter it and he can't maintain it for long it only lasts him one Rasengan so 
even if he, he 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 had the time to sit still for long enough against someone like Kisame, like managing one Rasengan that can probably be dodged by Kisame isn't that big of a deal, if we're being totally honest here. That's why I don't think Sage Mode is even worth bringing up for Minato. Yeah, even if somehow we just say he has like Naruto levels of mastery over Sage Mode, Kisame is just going to eat that. Yeah, it, it isn't true, just to make that clear, but, like, even if it was, Kisame literally just eats that for breakfast and amps himself, because we know Sage Mode, how it works is, if you take in too much Sage Chakra for you to handle, you turn into a frog. But we also know that the larger your Chakra Reserve is, the more Chakra you can take in without actually turning into the Toad or the Frog or whatever. And we see the Preda Path can take a full dose of Sage Mode from Naruto, and then still force him to get actively gather more Sage Chakra to finally turn into a frog. So now imagine Kisame, who has more Chakra than a single Path of Pain for sure, fighting Minato. Like, he's just gonna suck the Chakra up, amp himself with it, give himself, like, a, a small Sage Mode buff, I guess? Because it's not gonna be enough to actually be a full Sage Mode buff. Like, it's not gonna be the yeah. same amount of Chakra that he needs to actively activate Sage Mode for himself. But it's gonna be at least a little bit of a buff to him, and then what? Minato just gave Kisame more chakra, like that's kind of it. <laughs> yeah, he just handed him some more chakra. Now, when it comes to Minato's uh, proficiency with sealing ninjutsu, a lot of people tend to say that it's just like an instant win con, like all he needs to do is place his hand on someone and seal them immediately, and that's just not true. We've never seen him use a ceiling ninjutsu that can actually kill or incapacitate someone except for the Reaper Death Seal. Yeah, plus Kisame just like even if the Reaper Death Seal immobilizes Kisame and makes him unable to move, Same Hara is just gonna bite Minato's head off. Like <laughs> Kisame can definitely struggle for his soul for long enough for Same Hara to just bite Minato's head off and just kill him. Literally also, just devour Minato. <laughs> We know that the Reaper Death Seal is dependent on the user's strength. Like, if the user isn't physically strong enough to pull out the their opponent's soul, it's not going to happen. So while Minato is struggling with Kisame to pull out his soul, Samehata is just going to come over and start sucking on his leg. Pause. So, basically, while he's sapping Minato's strength out, that just means Minato won't have the... the, the power required to actually pull out Kisame's soul. So the Reaper Death Seal isn't even a win con anymore. <laughs> like, he's just going to lose if that happens. Oh my Anyways, God. another thing that we should probably cover is the shark form. So, how does Minato fare against that, do you think? So, literally his only option for dealing with the water bubble is to just teleport out of it. So, it depends on, like, if we're giving Minato, like, what scenario we're putting him in. Is it, like, a very neutral battlefield with no flying rising markers? outside of this like battlefield arena super smash bros type shit or are we doing it in universe where like hisame and minato meet up somewhere and, and throw the hands right so if it's in universe minato should still have uh flying rising markers around the hidden leaf village so if he does get if the whole battlefield gets encased in the water bubble like all of his flying rising markers should be rendered useless because they should all be in the general vicinity of the water bubble so minato would have to yeah. teleport back to the hidden leaf village now the problem is how does he get back to the battlefield because if he just removes himself from the battlefield entirely then that's just a lose condition uh and then it would be considered kisame's w but if we're doing it like in a neutral battlefield setting he wouldn't have any markers outside of this of this arena place so he wouldn't even be able to escape the water bubble at all so i think the water bubble is a, a good win con for kisame it just depends on like where minato positioned his markers yeah i will also add that this form of same hot of using with kisame in everything but the volumes because the volumes remove chapter statements but in everything but that it is directly stated that this grotesque form has no weaknesses. Yeah, yeah, Kisame just sort of, either way, he wins. If if Minato doesn't have an option to teleport out of that water bubble, he's just cooked. Like, he, like his, all of his chakra is getting drained as soon as Kisame touches him, and either that or he'll yeah. just drown entirely. So, like, the only thing I could think of for Minato winning is if he somehow places a flying rising marker on kisame whenever he tries to get in close to him but even then we already established that in terms of physical movement speed 
uh, Kisame has a pretty sizable advantage on Minato. So like he should be able to react to all of Minato strikes unless he truly catches Kisame off guard. It's not going to happen. Like he's not going to touch Kisame in any way. Like he's just going to be too slow to land a meaningful hit on him. But I think Sautry wanted to talk about Kisame versus KCM Minato. You want to take it from here? Yeah, so brace yourselves, because I think Kisame would murder stomp KCM Minato and everybody below him. So ask yourselves, <laughs> what do we know about Kisame? Kisame fights Guy in the seventh gate while nerfed, and he keeps up with him. He is able to straight up clash equally with the Hirodora. He launches it at the same speed, and we actually know that the Hirodora is faster than seventh gate Guy's movement speed, because when he's fighting Jubidara, Jubidara is easily easily dodging all of his blows, and then Hirodora outspeeds an attack from Jubidara and knocks him back. Hirodora, let me repeat that again, outsped an attack from Jubidara and knocked him back, and actually messed up his hair in the anime as well, like his hair is all over the place after that. So now imagine Kisame doing the same thing, he should be able to just replicate that exact same thing. And this is Guy, after fighting for who knows how long, he is tired, he is almost out of chakra, at several points of the war he was about to collapse. And Kisame, while tired, keeps up with a healthy Guy. So now imagine Kisame with Samehara and healthy, blowing Jubidara back even harder than Guy did. So, can Minato do that? Can Minato outspeed Jubidara? Can Minato knock him back? Can Minato mess up his hairstyle? I don't think so, Kisame should just slam dunk on him. Hirodora also knocked Madara out of his Susano, that's something else that there is to mention. And uh, yeah, the conclusion is Kisame takes his long, thick sword and shoves it into Minato and kills him. That's my conclusion, <laughs> see you next time, goodbye.